Hi, I'm Kevin Ryan of Top Meadow. It's Wednesday morning, August 3rd, and this is the first day that I'm starting work on a new iPhone game. What I want to do is film myself throughout the day and then condense it all into a, a video that recaps what I did during that day and upload it to YouTube and then do this day by day over the next several days until there's a finished product there. And um, so you can watch it unfold day by day and hopefully we end up with a product here at the end and not, not a disaster. So anyway, let's get to work. First thing I need to do is, is set up um, version control and subversion. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, heading around the corner to where I have my server back here. I've got Visual SVN to manage my subversion repo. And what I'm gonna do here is really quickly create a new repo called Sheepdog. And I'll create the default structure when I create it. So there, and it's created. And now I go to properties go add user and I'll add myself as a user to it. And there, it's set up, ready to go. Now that the repo is set up, I want to check it out onto my development machine. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, let's see, create a folder, call the game Sheepdog. So I got an uh, empty folder now. And what I want to do is go into um, the version, say checkout, type in Sheepdog here. Here it comes. There we go, checked out, revision one. And it's empty. But I use Tortoise SVN. So I'm going to copy all my Hunter sub files into here and then clean them up. So the next update I'll show them the project after I've cleaned up all the Hunter sub stuff and I have a bare bones sheepdog stuff running. It's a few hours later now and I've created a bunch of placeholder artwork. I took the original C file and edited it down to to stub out a lot of the functions it went from 2700 lines to about 470 lines and I'm doing a this is the first compile and we'll see how many errors we get here and we have let's see 62 errors showing up here so it's 10 minutes later now and I've got the compile errors fixed so let's try loading the game into the uh, torque game builder engine in. oh, lots of invalid data blocks subs, ships, freighters so, I have some references to image maps that I'm not using in my code, so I'm going to go through and uh, clean those up. So I've got the data blocks cleaned up, so now I'm going to try running the game and see what we get if we can, if it, uh, if it runs all our little stubbed out stuff here. Line her up better. There we go. Okay, title screen. Oh, this is Hunter Sub Music. Eventually, I'll figure out music that fits the theme of the game. So. Tutorial, 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 good. Play. Oh, my game's not there. Okay, let me fix it. Okay, I've cleaned stuff up a little bit more here, so I got a play screen hooked up, nothing there. Choose level, I don't know if I'm gonna actually have choose level in the game or not, I may have it more each level. It's kind of randomly created, getting tougher and tougher as you go along. But anyway, for now, I'll have this set up, so click on one, and then here's the game. Dog can bark. The sheep and the dog will run around in here, and right now I have paws hooked up to the uh, results screen, which tells you how you did in the game. So, oh, that's not good. <laughs> so it crashed again. I'm putting this in here on purpose so you can see that it's not all smooth sailing in the game. So, I'll go track this one down, and the next update, you see the results screen, but there's nothing there, and then we'll get to some of the really fun stuff. Now, I have paws hooked up, results screen, I'll hunter sub music again, and then loops back in. So I've Got all my buttons hooked up, so now we'll do some fun stuff with the dog. I need cheap and dog artwork for the game, and here they are, placeholders from now. There's my dog, there's my sheep. Okay, I got it running with some sample artwork in here, so let's just try the dog. Let's just try drawing a path for him. And okay, he's following the path. I can change it. Okay, we can draw a long path. Seems to be doing okay. Hard to tell about the frame rate. Okay, that's as long as the path can be. He's falling. Well, let's speed him up. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay. Well, next update I'll show him. I'll have him going pretty fast. We'll have him zip, zip along the thing. One thing I notice is the dog's too big. We'll have to make him smaller. I've got the dog following the path now. I have him going at a pretty fast speed. And 
and he, he seems to follow it pretty good. I can change it, have him go just a little distance. I have him going faster than I go in the game, and I can draw a pretty long path, and he'll just follow it till he gets to the end. So, looks good, so I'm going to leave the dog alone for a while now, and, and um, hook up the bark button. Oh, and right here what I have displaying is my current frame rate. Um, roughly 200 right now. It's uh, This is a debug version, so it wouldn't be as fast anyway. But it's on Windows. It doesn't matter. That's mostly when I go to the iPhone. I'm going to leave it in the game until I'm ready to ship, and then I'll take it out, because I want to get a good sense of how fast it's running on the iPhone, make sure it's running fast enough. Because you're not going to get a sense of that on Windows. You know, it's going to run faster than you can get on the iPhone. Okay, so now time to hook up the bark button. I've hooked up the bark button, so if you click bark, the dog will bark. Oh, and I got ram random ambient cheap baw sounds going on there, so. I want the dog to pause when, he, when you hit bark. So you can have it barking for a while to place. Okay, let's make the sheep do stuff. Okay, here's the latest build. I've made them just a little bit smaller. We'll play with that to see what works best when we get really artwork, real artwork in there. So now I'll move them around. So we come over here, let's bark. There we go. Let's go over here. I slowed him down a little bit too. Can we see him? changed the code so now when he barks he keeps moving so you can have him moving and barking which gives a different play mechanic you know as you're going through you can just keep barking as you move along and so what I think I'm going to do is add two buttons there'll be one that says bark and one that says stop and bark so you can use one or the other that's next just update in there now one thing I've done is I I, can, I have a, the dog wait till I finish drawing the path before he starts moving. And I've got the, I got stop and bark. Then I've added bark while he's moving. So you can just. That's working all right. Next, I want to put goals in there, so there's a place where you're trying to get the sheep to. So goals is next. Okay, I've added a highlighted goal area in there now, so... Oops. So, uh... So if that's, that's where you'd want to herd the sheep to. I actually had it doing some stuff with that. So what I'm going to do now is, uh... need to make the sheep go faster. I want to set it up so I have multiple goals, so I'll have it Draw two goals in there, and then we'll recognize when the sheep are in the goal or not. Okay, I've got some code in there that recognizes when all the sheep are in their goal now, so let's send this last sheep into its goal and um, should move on to the results screen. There, okay. That's it for today. That's it for day one. Not sure how long it's going to take me to put the video together, so I'm going to call it a day here and get this uploaded. Tomorrow's day two.